So, all right, Team Immigration Nation and our other coach family, welcome. I am Nat Patch or Coach Nat. Uh, my full name is Natalia Pacchiarotti, so you can feel free to call me that too. I'm the founder of Nat Patch Fitness. I'm also the founder of my personally sponsored team, which you are now on our call right here, Invigoration Nation. So welcome to our Wednesday team training. Tonight, we're just going to go over a couple of the basics here in 20 minutes, and then we'll open it up for a question and answer. Um, feel free to please don't ever think that a question is dumb, right? We all have questions, and be that person to reach out and say, hey, I need to know this. Because if you want to help yourself and help other people, ask those questions, right? So today, our topics are the four vital behaviors. You might have heard them, maybe not. If you've gone through a little baby basics or basic training, you have heard of at least the three vital behaviors, and we added a fourth one at this last Super Saturday. So now it's four vital behaviors. And then we're going to go into one of the basic things that we – need to kind of know how to do, which sometimes we just don't when we start in this whole online stuff, is uh, how to create a private group for maybe a, a, a challenge that you're running or when you start to build your own team of coaches and you want to have a place to have your own personally sponsored coaches, how to create those private groups and then also how to create an event for yourself and for your groups if you want to use that as a way to invite people because one of those four vital behaviors is inviting, right? How are people gonna know what the heck you're doing? How are you gonna be able to reach out to them if you're not actually inviting them? Yes, you're sharing your story and once we get out of that comfort zone, you'll be sharing your story and they'll be asking you what, what you're doing. Some people will, some people won't and you have to be the one to reach out to them and figure out if this is something that you can be helping them with. So let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. And the first thing, share your screen, just stop, and boom. All right, so you guys, can you, thumbs up, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, yeah, good. All right, so um, if you, you can try to follow along if you want, or you can just go back to this later. If you know how to do it, cool, just a little review for you. So at the very, if, I'm already signed into Facebook, all right? So if this is my profile page right here, this is the top of the screen. At the very end here, you'll see a little arrow. This is just one way to do it. It's pretty easy to do it this way. If you want to create a group, right down here you see create group. Easy peasy, right? So you can go right there, you click on it. There are a couple things that you need to do from the beginning. It's create your group name. Let's see. Um, let's say we're going to do like an abs and buns challenge group or something, okay? Abs and buns challenge group, all right? Now you can, um, a lot of times they'll have you add a person. So let's add Erica. Yeah, you want some abs and buns? Um, and then you can already add it to a favorite, which I like to do with all my challenge groups that I'm running um, and all my personal groups, um, like the, the coach groups and the push groups. I'll have them as favorites on the side. So when you look at your left side panel over here, I have all those important groups that I know I need to check in with on the left hand side. Right, right at the top. So you can go boom, 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 go down them during your coach power hour, okay, or half hour, or coach 15 minutes, whatever it is for you. All right, and then here's another thing. I now keep mine as closed, a closed group. I don't go totally secret. Now, when you're first starting and you're still adding people to your network, you can still go with secret and you'll be able to add people that are your friends into the group. I'm to the point now and for the season coaches on this call, you might be getting there soon where you have gotten to that 5,000 mark in your friends on your personal profile page. That's all you can add. So you either have to keep subtracting people that you know are not in your tribe and are not following you and you are not helping them, or maybe they're already coaches and they're not part of your coach family. They can still talk to you on your like page, okay, once you get to that point. You can delete them, and then you have a spot open for your new person you're trying to help. Or you can keep it as a closed group. So now I keep things as a closed group. People can find you by searching for your group, but they still cannot see what's going on in that group. The information in that group is still private. The only thing people can see is the name of the group and what you guys are focusing on in that group. So if you're writing like a little, a little bit about what that group is about in your, in your private group, and you'll see that coming up, then they'll see that, but they won't see the people. They won't see you post your pics. You know, if people do this way pics or do it before and afters in there, they're not going to see that. But the way you can add those people once you hit your limit with your friends, you can now add them with an email address to this closed group. 
which you cannot do in the secret group. So now my groups are closed. And when you get to that level, just be you know, you'll know that when you get there. Okay. All right. So then you'll go ahead and create the group. When you have your group created, you can do a little icon. Let's do a red cup just because. And then it'll take you to this screen. So in this screen, you can add a photo here. You can add a description. And that's what I was talking about, where people will see what your group is about. That part right here, you can add a little description. You start adding, you can add a welcome. You can go take a clip from Google Photos, get, um, like do a little, uh, what do you call it, copy and paste or whatever, um, or cut it out and then paste it in here and do a little welcome photo. So let's see what I have on my desktop here. Uh, this is just a picture of my desktop, but I could put this here as a welcome. I just put this on my NetPatch Fitness page. I could do welcome new challengers. Okay, and just pretend that's like the challenge that we're gonna do. And then post it there. Okay, and then you can pin it to the top. If you don't know pinning it, here it is real quick. It says pin post, so you can pin it to the top there and it'll stay there. So people can post all they want down here and your focus will stay right here at the top. All right, find those six words. <laughs> all right, so that's the basics. You can then go in to edit group settings and fill in all the rest. All right, you can pick a group type, um, you can add the description in here, um, and then you can, you can kind of um, put a little more focus into how you want your closed group to look and, and kind of roll out, okay? Does everyone kind of understand that, yes? Have you, have you, who has, show of hands, created a private group already? Yes, yes, all right. So, once you have people, even I would say do a fun free group. Do a fun for anyone that's starting out new um, and ask your, your sponsor coach if maybe they would do this with you, um, kind of pal up with you and say, hey, I want to do a five-day challenge. I'm a little nervous to do it myself. Can you do this with me? And they'll help you create it with you. Invite people to it. It could be like a five-day plank challenge or something, you know. Let's do a build it from 30, minute, 30 seconds to a minute and 30 in five days, okay? And you just get people in there. You start forming relationships. You get used to building the, the closed group and then getting people into it. It's a little practice for you, and you're also building relationships and forming relationships that way without anyone having to pay for anything and not getting to that point. All right, so it's a fun way to kind of work with that and start a little starting step with that. If you're ready to go with challenge packs, though, and get them in with that, you know how to create your private group then to support them with, okay? So that's how to create your private group your private group on Facebook. Now, one way that I like to invite, because again, one of our four vital behaviors is inviting. I like to create, using Facebook, an event. So then I have something to, for people to say, yes, I'm interested in that, and I go and then I'll message them privately because they already said they're interested, right? So I'm gonna give them some more information, right? Um, or they said, oh, I'm going to this. So then, of course, again, I'm going to give them that information. Also, when I have people who ask me for help, I say, hey, click going on this event. It doesn't bind you to it. You don't have to pay money. It doesn't say, it doesn't confirm that you're doing it unless you purchase the, purchase the challenge pack. But it lets me know that you're interested and we can keep talking about it. So I'll send them the link to the event to keep our um, conversation going. All right. So it's kind of like a conversation piece. So let me just show you how to do that. So that's number two that we're learning today is creating an event. So you see in the side panel here, what I was talking about, I keep all my groups. I have Invigoration uh, Accountability, the Fuel Fitness group that I'm doing with the private group, Invigoration Nation, my coach groups are all up here in the favorites. So remember we were talking about the favorites? I go bam, 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 bam in the morning, and I do that again during my coach power hour. All right? So you can keep that focus right here. All right. So right here, events. See that events? You might already have events that you're going to, you've clicked going to, or that you're involved in, or maybe that you've created, all right? If you've never created an event, right here is your create. So all you do, you see that plus sign right there, click on that, create. It's a little bit tougher, you can create events um, via mobile device. Um, for me, it's been tough to do this part right here, sometimes a little tricky to make sure that you are creating a public event. Once you create a event, an event that's a private event on a mobile device, you can't change it. So it's like that and you have to redo everything again. So either make sure you're just doing it on your desktop, 
So you can definitely see, okay, yes, I'm creating them public events, um, or be, just be sure when you're on, a, on your mobile device that you are doing public, okay? All right, because you won't be able to see, unless you're doing an event in a, in, a, in a private group, that's different, all right? But if you're doing this to invite people to a challenge group, you wanna make sure that it's public so you can share it with them, with people. All right, so public event. Um, I have a couple like pages, but if you're sharing from your profile page, it'll just have that there for you, okay? Um, if you do have a like page, you wanna start sharing from that, you have that option to pick your like page, all right? Again, you can put a picture here if you want, you have that option. Your event name, so again, we can do abs and buns, buns, five day challenge, or whatever you want. Um, get creative. Location, I'll usually put like private group, oh, let me, abs and buns, I don't know why it's not letting me do that. Let's do five day, maybe. Do abs and buns. There we go, abs and buns. <laughs> All right, so then location, I'll usually say like private Facebook group, with Nat or Coach Nat, or if you're doing it as part of a team, you could do it with Team Invigoration or whatever your team is, Team Crazy Fit, um, private Facebook group. And then set your date. So here's another thing that helps you, it helps you to do this. So I like to at least, some people run two um, challenges a month, I'm doing one. So, um, but I, when I'm ending one group, I already know when the next group is gonna start. That's really important. Okay, because you want to keep this nice flow of people that you're inviting and have something to be inviting them to. All right. So right now, I already know I am ending this, this group right here. I'm still pushing for people to get, they have their last chance to get into this group that's starting on Monday. That'll go until Saturday, which is the last day of the month. Okay. I know that ends. Or I know already I have an event already set up for May 25th. All right, for some people that's a little bit late, they like to go right away with another event, but that's what works for me, so you have to find what works for you. But find it, have a date, have a deadline for that date, okay? So the, the Friday before my Monday prep starts, that's their deadline, all right? But I will set, so say, all right, we're coming up, oh, we'll say Monday is the start date of this new abs, five-day abs challenge, okay? So I'll make sure that's set. I usually do a morning time just because it doesn't let you do zero time. Um, I'll do a morning time. If you're doing this with a team, those coaches that are co-coaching with you, you can put them in here as co-coaches, as, um, as co-hosts. Co um, and you can even put your website address in there or if, if there's a direct link to something you want them to be uh, ordering for the challenge, you put that in here where it says add website link. Now this is for if you're using a like page. If you're using your profile page, it won't have that, which is fine. You don't really need that. And a description of what your challenge is, okay? and a call to action. So maybe you want them to email you. Maybe you want them to send you a Facebook message. Just give them a call to action so that when they read this, they have a next step, not just clicking going, okay? So let's just say, email me at my email. All right. And with the like page, you'll have, um, a, you can pick a category. So we'll just do community family. I know there's a sports category down here somewhere. So you can search for that fitness or wellness and then you create it. So then you create it, it's a public event. I'm gonna delete this later because I'm not really doing an abs challenge on Monday. All right, so then it's created. I would have a, a cool fun picture up here instead of my profile picture, for my page, but I have a cool fun picture up here. And then you can share this with people, all right? People that come to you that say they're interested in doing something, what can they do? You know, they just need a little help. You can get them going by sending this link to them. Say, hey, just click on here just so I know you're interested and let's keep talking, all right? So right here is your invite and there's a share event so you can share that with them, all right? Um, here, uh, when you do it through your mobile device, it'll say you can copy the link too. So right here you can share the event, you can share it to your pages, um, your timelines, in groups, um, in a different event if you wanted to and in a private message you can send it to a personal personal private message Everyone kind of understand that yes So you can play around with it. So you know where the group private group uh, creating is here right that arrow and then your events is when you go to your events In your side panel you see the events here you click on that and then right here is your create for your events. Good?
How's that? Everyone good so far? Yeah? Thumbs up? Okay. All right. So lastly, lastly, and then we're going to open it up for a little Q&A. This has been good today. Good baby steps. I'm all about eight baby steps and then trying to execute them. So if you can get off this call and come up with a cool, fun, five-day challenge, if you're not doing a challenge already, take that little baby step. And just do experiment, experiment with it. Say, hey, buddies, you can grab your, your five friends that you know are into fitness and say, hey, I just want to try this out and try to create an, a, a private group, an event. Would you want to do this, this five-day challenge with me? And just practice with your, your buddies or family members, okay? All right. So finally, we're going to go over this just a little bit every call until it's like in our heads, the four vital behaviors. All right. So I'm just going to share this right here. So four vital behaviors, you're going to hear this on a lot of your coach calls. You're going to hear this at your Super Saturdays, at summits, because they are the basics that if you are consistent and being a coach is really about finding those, those little steps that you do every day that you can be consistent with that help you to build your team, build your, your lifestyle that you're trying to design. So what my personal goals are going to be different from what yours are, what yours are, what yours are, all right? So you have to figure out how much time you can commit each day, whether it's five minutes or whether it's 15 minutes or whether it's, you know, a half hour or a couple hours, and figure out how much you want to devote to each one of these steps, how much time, okay? I'm going to like a power hour on another call, but these four vital behaviors really don't have to take up that much time in your day, all right? Number one, your personal development. Now, for other people, that's further down on the list, but I think that the fitness of the mind is going to help with all the other steps. If we are strong here, it's going to really help us to be strong with everything else, with our own lives, and then be able to help other people. Because I know on those days when I am weak here, I, I have nothing to give. I really don't. I don't have anything to give. So it has to start with personal development. And for me, that starts with brain dumping. So I have a nice little notebook that has like a quote of the day. And if you listen to any Shalene Johnson's um, podcast, a lot of times she'll talk about, she'll wake up in the morning, she'll go teach her class, and she comes back and she sits in her car, and that's her 10 minutes to open her notebook or her notes on her phone, um, her notepad on her phone, and just brain dump. Write down all the things you have to get done that day, and then prioritize them real quick, and pick the first three that are most important that you need to get done, all right? So just a little brain dumping every day, all right? So that's number one for me. And then um, I like to pray. It's part of my morning PD, my personal development. And then I'm either listening to an audiobook or I'm reading an audiobook just for at least 10 minutes, whether that's in the car to work or I have actually 10 minutes to read um, in bed before I get up. All right. But it's got to happen. You've got to be fit in the mind, right? We have to start there. Team calls, live events. You can get on them. They're so important. It builds this bond with the team. It builds that energy and lights that fire, especially your bigger events like Super Saturdays and the Summit coming up. If you can get to them, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Life-changing. Really, it is. Not just for you growing as a coach, but in life in general. All right? So my second one, I like to say you better recognize. You better recognize your team, your coaches, the people that you're – even in your baby group when you're starting up with a little five-day challenge – each day, just kind of recognize someone, right? It feels good. It feels good, not just for you to recognize that person, but for that person to feel recognized and, and let them know that they are acknowledged and what they're doing. Baby things. It doesn't have to be like, oh, awesome job. You've got to one star diamond, which is cool. It doesn't have to be about rank. It can be about the fact that they got outside the box or something. They posted on their page about something they did that was really cool that day. Um, they did a video for the first time, you know. Um, they sat down and talked to someone else about, you know, uh, a, a – um, a workout that they like, all right? Getting outside the box that way and forming a relationship with someone new. Simple things. Simple. They went out and bought a new outfit they, that they got. They, um, Beachbody gave them $32 that week and they bought new clothes with it, you know? Something cool. Recognize them from the baby victories to the huge ones because those baby victories are the ones that create the big ones, right? So we got to recognize your people. You got to make them feel loved, because that's what this team is about. We want to, everyone to feel loved and that we grow together, all right? Do it. You got to be doing it. You got to be doing your workout. You got to be drinking your Shakeology. You got to set that example. And it's okay. We all fall down. We all get back up. But you have to be trying to be on that journey yourself. So I say do it and then invite to it. Invite to that journey that you are on. 
So that's what we got to today. We started with that. Your Facebook groups, your events, have something planned, have a deadline, and invite to that deadline. All right? So we are Team Invigorate. We want to be invigorated and go out and invigorate. We want to be inspired and go out and inspire. We want to find that life balance. And we want to find financial freedom through all of that. All right? Awesome job, you guys. Be sure to please share this with your team. I believe it has been recorded. I'm going to stop this recording now, but have a beautiful rest of your week. And let's stay consistent with those four vital behaviors. Thank you. All right. Hang on one second.